Police have also made an arrest in a big property crimes case. Detectives say they caught a man who stole enough stucco to cover an entire block of homes, thanks to a tip from a woman who says he forced her to go along with him. Here's News 13's Maria Medina. You recovered a lot of the stolen items, correct? That's correct. Dave Leach says he thought they were long gone. About 600 bags of product. 600 bags. Right. 600 bags of stucco stolen from the South Broadway business Leach manages, El Rey Stucco Corporation. We were pretty uh, upset. We were pretty amazed that uh, we could let this happen. But then a woman called El Rey yesterday and told them to check out Troy Marcus's southeast Albuquerque home. Leach and his co-workers went to the home and found bags upon bags of El Rey stucco. The tipster, Marcus's ex-girlfriend, who told investigators he'd threatened to kill her if she didn't join him in the break-in. We got this taken care of in one day, so it was fantastic. Marcus told police he used wire cutters to cut the fence to get onto the property and that he chose to do it over the Memorial Day weekend. Over three-day weekend when nobody is around for the most part. Investigators say Marcus told them he used a torch to cut a lock and then hot-wired a forklift to load his truck with the stolen goods, coming back for more not once, but a handful of times. Leach says Marcus got away with $10,000 worth of stucco. He was saying that he's redoing his home, but the size of his home, you could do probably 30 homes of this size. Marcus claims he sold some of the bags to Home Depot. Leach says anyone thinking of breaking into El Rey now will regret it. They're going to get caught, yeah. You will get caught for sure. In Albuquerque, Maria Medina, KRQE News 13. Leach also says El Rey only sells stucco to distributors or big box retailers, so anyone selling it on the street likely stole it.